Hello everyone, so welcome to the explanation. So in this video, I am going to solve a question that has been asked by students. So this question is again for, for from Fortran and it has been asked in 2075. So the question is uh, write a program to find the second largest integer from an array using Fortran. Okay, so the concept is very easy. What we are going to do is we are going to uh, take 10 uh, numbers, 10 integer numbers in an array. First of all, we are going to sort it in ascending order, sorry, descending order. That is largest will come here and second largest will come here and the lowest will come here. And finally what we will do, we will print that if suppose this array is num, so we will print that num2 is the second largest element. Okay, we will use that concept and we will use um, uh, Fortran. So you know that for sorting purpose in C also, we have to, we have used uh, nested loop, okay, two loops where there are i and j. So same concept I will be using here also, okay. Uh, just let me increase the size of this. Okay, fine. So let's write the program. So our program name is program largest. Let me type this. Now we'll declare array. So array will be of integer type. The name of the array will be num. Let the size of the array be 10. Okay, it's not given the size. You can consider size yourself. Let me consider variables i, j, and temp. After that, I'll write okay enter 10 integer or the elements of array so uh, read will be there okay and i'm using this array the loop that is 1 10 okay so in by using this statement you can directly read the element of this num array from 1 to 10 okay it's implied do loop i think next is i'll using do loop that is nested do loop i tell for i equals to 1 to 9 and incremented by 1 again again do loop that is j loop so j will go from i plus 1 to 10 and then incremented by 1 okay so i hope you have done various sorting question in c okay so no need to explain this this is nested loop okay if num i okay if num i dot lt which means less than if num i is less than dot num j then what will do temp equals to num i num i equals to num j and finally num j equals to temp yeah you remember we did this thing in c also this is our nested do loop and this is our condition and this is we are going to swap it finally we will end our if statement after that we will end our do loop again we will end our second do loop finally we are going to print the second largest because after this process we have a sorted array so largest is here second largest is here so what is your program you have to print second largest so second largest will be in this position so write star star yeah the second largest integer is okay you can see here we have started the loop from 1 not from 0 okay so the first element index is 1 2 3 like this the second largest uh, integer will be so again we'll you can write it in same line also okay so what is the value that is num 2 so this is the second largest and let us in our program yeah it's very easy okay don't get confused don't get confused in this okay because this we can use this is implied do loop for reading elements in array we have got this benefit directly you can read by taking the num that is array name i and you can run the loop from wherever you want that is i 1 comma 10 and 
uh, for from how much value it is, it is incre incremented if it is not given it is self incremented by one okay so if you are not going to give here one that's okay even here if you leave this one that's okay because it is going to increment the value by one okay i hope you got the question thank you and stay safe